Hi kids, Mr. Tony here. Time for another video art lesson, or rather arte lesson, or actually if I were to say it properly in uh, Espanol, I would say lesión de arte, okay? And why am I talking Spanish here and writing Spanish? Well, because we are doing uh, the Dominican Republic as our theme for this week in art and in the whole school, okay? So it's a, a place in the tropics in the Caribbean uh, where they speak Spanish, and I've added something here, something that relates to a uh, tropical island. Okay, it's plants. It looks kind of like feathers, but it's not feathers. It's a type of tree they have down there in uh, the Dominican Republic. We don't have them here. It's not hot enough, okay? Those are palm fronds, okay? Those are the leafy parts of the uh, palm trees. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing uh, something colorful with palm fronds. Uh, but first, let's look at what I was doing yesterday. And I kind of filled it in a bit. Okay, and that was just kind of a design, an abstract piece of art uh, that was very colorful. I was supposed to have the look and feel of a colorful piece of uh, Dominican Republic art. Here's one of the samples. Okay, that's where I got my inspiration from. I don't think this turned out too well. I think it would have been better if I had made it a little more representational. And maybe, maybe if you can see in here, all these curves. I put in a bunch of curves, but those curves are the curves of fruits and baskets that the fruits are in. So maybe I could have done something like that with this. Okay, and... uh Anyway, it was a good exercise, uh, but you do that when you're making art. You look at it and you think, oh, you know, I'm not crazy about that. It could be better. And then next time you do something different or you keep working at it. I added some uh, dark spots here. I could have even added some leafy shapes. I was thinking uh, some leafy, leafy uh, bits and parts would have helped it a bit. But it was just an exercise, just a warm-up exercise. And as I was saying, I'm a little bit rusty. Maybe you're rusty too, since you've been off for a couple of weeks. And now you're back looking at art and uh, making art, hopefully, with me, Mr. Tony, in our video art lesson. Okay, so that was yesterday. Let's see, today, as I was saying, we're going to do something with uh, palm fronds. Okay, and what a palm frond is, you know, that's this whole leafy part, but then the frond is made up of a stem, which is the center line, and then these little lines that are the leaves. Okay, there are all different kinds of uh, palm leaves and palm trees, but this is, this is the kind we're gonna be making. All right, and we're gonna do it with colorful, colorful colors, that's kind of redundant bright colors, let's put it that way. Okay, and I'm gonna begin with orange. I'm gonna make an orange palm frond, okay? There's no such thing as an orange palm frond. Palm fronds are green, green, but we wanna make it a little more interesting. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a bunch of palm fronds in tropical colors down here. And then up here, I'm gonna write the Dominican Republic. So I want it to be kind of like a poster for the Dominican Republic. Okay, and then I'll do a little bit of sky. So uh, if you're doing it with me, you're just gonna need paper and crayons. I'm also gonna add a little bit of watercolor at the end. So uh, if you have watercolor, you can do that as well, or you just watch, okay, as always, and learn. Here we go. Okay, first step. I'm gonna make an orange frond right here. I'm gonna start with that stem line. Now this, this is the tip of the leaf, of the uh, frond actually, the very tip. So I'm gonna start with the leaves and they're all gonna point kinda toward the tip. I should say they're kinda leaning that way. They're not pointing directly at the tip. They're all leaning that way. I think feathers are like that too. You know, they have a center part. I don't think it's called a stem. And then all the little 
fluffy bits on the feather are all kind of pointing toward the tip. If you've ever seen a goose feather, you know, they're, they're like this. They all kind of go in the direction of the very tip of the feather. In this case, the frond. And there you go. That's one. Okay, an orange frond. Let's see, what else? Red violet. And I'm going to have that go this way. I'm going to make it I'm going to make it a little taller. And you know what? I'm going to overlap it this time. I'm going to overlap that first frond like that. Then the same thing. This is the tip. So I'm going to start at the base, at the bottom. And I'm going to lean all of the leaves toward the tip. And that goes over the orange pretty easily, so that's okay. And you'll notice the leaves are getting smaller as they go toward the tip. Okay, which I think is typically the case with a palm frond. Although I'm not exactly sure, since we don't have palm trees around here. And I just looked up a few online. I actually looked up the flora and fauna of the Dominican Republic, which is uh, the flowers, the plant life, and the fauna is the animals. Okay, to see what kind of uh, plants and animals they have down there in the Dominican Republic. Of course, for plants, they had palm trees, different kinds of palm trees. Uh, but they look pretty much like this. They get wide and then they narrow down near the tip. Okay, there's two. Let's do a couple more. That orange, what else? Uh, how about purple? Let me get the right kind of purple. I have a couple different purples. You know what, let's... Actually, let's do... Let's do a green one, but it's going to be kind of a light tropical green. We'll do that here. The purple would be too much like this, so I'm, I'll maybe put the purple over here. Yeah, that looks good. That's a yellow green. I could do yellow, but yellow wouldn't show up too well. Yellow is a very light color. This will show up a little better. And if I were designing a poster, you know, I'd have to think about things like that. I could have a bunch of leaves and then one's yellow and it kind of fades away. That's not good. Maybe I could make it a canary yellow or give it a little brown, but the yellow I have here in the crayons is too light, so I'm gonna skip yellow. Okay. Green. Let's do that purple now. Gotta get the right purple. That's it. That's a. I think that's a violet purple. That means it's a little more red. And this is a red violet, so this is even more red. This one is a violet purple, so it's it's more purple, but it's still kind of reddish. Okay, and the same thing. I'm gonna make all those leaves lean toward the end of the stem, like that. That looks good. And let's see what other colors. Uh, yellow, red. I could do red. I'm gonna do blue. A light, a light tropical blue. This is a blue green. Or let's see, what does it say? Yeah, it says blue-green. Well, that looks good over there. I like that color. And again, I just overlap down here. I like where it overlaps. That gives it kind of an interesting look.
maybe I need one here. A little one. Let's do a, a red. Or, or how about a pink? Okay, pink. That's light and very tropical like. That looks good. And then let's fill in the corner over here too. Okay, what color haven't I used? Mm, red. Good old red. Primary color. I'll just make a little frond over there. Squeeze it in the corner. Okay, now, now I'm going to do watercolor up here and make a bit of a sky. Uh, but before I do that, I want to write the Dominican Republic on top. Okay, this is kind of a poster or an advertisement for the uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, but if you just had the palm fronds, it could be any island in the uh, Caribbean. Okay, it could be uh, Jamaica, it could be the Bahamas, it could be uh, Puerto Rico, it could be an advertisement for... What else is down there? There are all sorts of islands down there in the Caribbean. They're called, it's called an arpel, uh, ar, archip, archipelago, archipelago. That's a funny name. I don't know if I'm getting it right, but that's when you have a bunch of islands all kind of strung together. There's the Bahamas, there's the Cayman Islands, uh, the Cuba is down there too. Uh, and they're all tropical and they all have palm trees on them. But we want this to be about the Dominican Republic. So we're gonna be very obvious and we're just gonna write it right across the top. Now, if this were an actual poster for the Dominican Republic, uh, it would be done uh, with computer graphics, okay? Uh, an artist might do this part, he might do a painting of this or even crayons, uh, but the, the type would be done on a keyboard, right? Uh, and it would be perfect type, but I, have a piece of paper here and crayon, so I'm gonna have to make the best of it uh, just by doing the lettering by hand. Okay, and I actually used to do sign painting, and whenever I did something like this, I'd have to be very careful. I'd have to plan out where my letters were gonna go and how big they would be so that they would fit right. So I'm gonna just kind of think about it. I don't want it too big. If I made it this big, the would take up that much, and then the um, that would be the first part of the Dominican letter. So I got to fit three words in there. The Dominican Republic. Okay, so I'm going to make the type kind of small. The is going to take up that much. And then Dominican about that much. And the Republic about that much. Okay, it's going to be a little rough because it's hand done, but that's okay. I'm going to do it all in caps. Okay, and you guys who are still learning to read, I'll sound it out as we go along. Okay, that's the, okay, Dominican Republic, Dominican. That's three syllables. I got D, O, M. That's the first syllable, Dominican. Dome, in. A-I-N, domin, domin, oh, there's four syllables, excuse me, domin, I can, I got it wrong, four syllables, domin, it says mini in the middle, and the last syllable is can, that's just the way can is spelled, right, Dominican, now, I, I went a little too far, I didn't leave enough space, I did this on the other lesson for the little kids. I did the same thing. <laughs> I should have learned my lesson. I didn't have quite enough space for a republic, but I'm going to squeeze it in, okay? And I'm going to use a trick. I'm just going to squeeze the letters a bit. It would be easier to do on the computer. And graphic designers, people who do things like this, posters, when they're doing type, they may have to actually squeeze the letters to make them fit sometimes or stretch them. But I'm going to have to do it by hand here. Dominican re 
GitHub. And then lick, which is just like the word lick, except it doesn't have a K. It's just, wait, we got pub. Okay, that's repub, then lick L, I, C. Dominican Republic. Now, what I should have done is maybe done it lightly in pencil, but I thought I'd just, you know, wing it because that's what you're doing anyway, right? I've had years of experience doing this. I can imagine it would be hard for you to do, but it, as, it doesn't matter how it looks as long as you have it written out there. The Dominican Republic, okay? So you know it's a poster for that country and it's tropical colors. Okay, what next? What last? Last thing I'm going to do. I think I mentioned I was going to add a little bit of watercolor, which you can do if you have them. Or you can just watch. And if you did this part, you can leave it blank. Or you can use a blue crayon and you can make a little bit of blue sky. Okay, that's what I'm going to do with the watercolor. I'm going to make some blue sky. So I got my water. I got my blue. I got it down here on my tray. I'll lift it up so you can see. There it is. And I'm going to go underneath the letters here. I'm going to leave, leave the lettering of the country in a nice white space there. Give it its own space so it really stands out. Now I could go all the way down and I could go right over the leaves and we get that wax resist effect, right? But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna go down a little ways and let it fade out. And if I really want it to fade out down here, I just add more water to make the blue very light. Oops, that's too dark. You gotta add more water. You gotta drip. That's okay. There. That's that's nice and light. Add water, thin it out, make it lighter. So it's a dark blue up there, light blue down around the fronds. That's what you call a fade or a gradient. There's a couple of ways you can label it. Fade means it kind of it fades out. The blue fades out. Gradient means it shifts from one color to another. In this case, it's a deep blue going all the way down to white. I'm going to make the blue a little bit deeper, a little darker up there. That's a nice blue. That's a good blue for our tropical sky. Okay, and that's it. Nice little poster for the Dominican Republic. And there it is. That was uh, today's lesson about the Dominican Republic, which we will be doing all week. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be doing something else i'm not going to tell you you'll see the kind of art that's found in the dominican republic an interesting kind of art actually it's the kind of art that i uh used to do a long time ago or something kind of like it anyway you'll see i'm not going to tell you exactly what it is i'll keep you guessing okay so that's it for today and i will see you next time bye bye